Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our annual Best Cordless Vacuum video for 2023. We've bought almost 90 cordless vacuums and put them through all kinds of tests, and in this video, I'll go over which ones rose to the top of our scoring system in three different price ranges, premium, mid-level, and budget. So links in the description to all the winners, and let's get started. First, a little about our scoring system, which mostly comes down to two broad categories, performance and features. For performance, we measure things like their sealed suction at the base, what we call unsealed suction at their head, as well as airflow at both the base and head. On the more practical side of performance, we look at their debris pickup ability on both hard floors and carpets. This is where they lose points for every debris size that they are not able to pick up on a given surface. We also do something called the crevice pickup test, which shows if they have a good seal on hard floors, as well as the carpet deep clean test, where we try to determine how good they are at picking up deeply embedded debris like sand in carpets. We also take into account their maximum battery life specifications, as well as their filtration ability where a fully sealed system with a HEPA filter gets more points than one which is not sealed and does not have a HEPA filter, something that is common with cheaper vacuums. I take into consideration their noise level on max power, and while not technically a performance metric, I put a lot of emphasis on the weight of their handle, where the heavier it is, the more points are taken away from the final score. This is because I want to reward cordless stick vacuums that are lighter and easier to maneuver and penalize those that are heavier. The other big factor in our scoring system is features. Like everything else, cordless vacuums are getting more advanced every year, and this year we've updated our features list, and we now take into account almost 20 different features. Things like auto suction adjustment, where the vacuum automatically adjusts its suction power up or down depending on the surface type or based on how dirty the floor is, which makes them much more efficient with battery life and performance. Another notable feature that's become more popular this year is what we call active hair removal, which is usually accomplished by little plastic combs in the floor head that remove hair from the roller as it vacuums. They get extra points if they have a digital battery life indicator, which shows in real time how much battery life is left, or if they have LED lights or even lasers on the floor head, which I find to be very useful. And of course, the number of attachments that they come with is taken into account. They also get a few more points if they have a motorized brush tool. So with all that said, here are my top picks for the best cordless vacuums of 2023, starting off with the premium price category. Dyson had a clean sweep in the premium category this year with the Dyson Gen 5 Detect, Dyson V15 Detect, and the Dyson Submarine taking the top three spots. These three vacuums are really similar in terms of their performance, features, and attachment sets, with a notable exception being that the Dyson Submarine has a floor washer attachment where the others don't. I liked the Submarine floor washer in our tests, but the jury is still out in terms of customer satisfaction with it, so I would watch reviews on that. I think an interesting story here, though, is with the Dyson V15 Detect, which is almost identical in terms of performance compared to the newer Dyson Gen 5 Detect, and even though it has a few less features than the newer Gen 5, the V15's price is considerably lower, making it the best value of these three, in my opinion. Moving on to the mid-level price range category, and here Shark did really well. With their two higher-end Duo Clean cordless vacuums, the Shark Stratos and the Vertex Pro taking the top two spots. But the Hoover One Power Emerge Pet and the new Dyson V8 version made this list as well. The two Sharks and the Hoover have a combination roller, where a soft roller and a standard roller are combined in the same head. I'm a big fan of these rollers, not just because they're literally unparalleled with their ability to pick up debris and hair, especially on hard floors, but you also don't have to change out the head manually when you want to switch, which is one of the few downsides of Dyson cordless vacuums. The Dyson V8 is the cheapest way to get into a Dyson if that's what you want, and this V8 has recently been updated by Dyson with a new floor head design and a few other things. Moving on to the budget category, and here we did a lot of research this year, buying more budget cordless vacuums than ever. And our picks are the Larisar Elite 3, the Bissell CleanView XR, and the Kenmore DS4030. The Larisar Elite 3 had the highest score of these three in our system, and it has great reviews online. I'd not heard of this brand before this test, but I hope it has a great future. I would say that either the Larisar or the new Kenmore would be better if you have mostly hard floors in your house, as they have floor heads that are better designed for hard floor pickup. But if you have mostly carpets in your house and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I would recommend the other one, the new Bissell CleanView XR, which is designed more for carpet cleaning in my opinion, though it can do hard floors as well, just not as good as the other two. 
So check out the links to all these winners in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.